Dr. Joe here. As I say, I talked about the, uh, the things we measure and using the uh, waveform you can see there up in, uh, in my hand and realize that those are microscopic vessels. Particularly in diabetes, you can measure what's happening and how good they are. And within a really reasonable period of time, a month, six weeks, you can see things become normal. Well, the other things we look at are big arteries. I mean, the kind they operate on, do stents and bypasses and things like that. Uh, what does that look like, though? The same thing as the other one, except they're different. You know, the one I showed you before was a situation was very, very, really only endothelial thick. In other words, you can see microscopic vessels. You see what they do. You can't actually look. But those microscopic things I showed before do not have plaque but they're very important in disease. So that the gradations of all the complications you've got to realize are arterial in origin in the main. There's a lot of other things that we'll talk about more. So here we have something that is really interesting and you can see it does an EKG on the top part and the bottom part we have in there says, look at the uh, waveform here, that's looking very normal. And therefore we have a lot of things that we really need to know here as well as we did on the other one as well. We have first the blood pressure, very accurate. Then we get down a little bit further and we're in a situation where actually this is measuring the CAS, the central aortic systolic pressure. This is critical because in, this was first discovered uh, in the early 1990s to do it within the framework of a living people person without getting into a situation you have to do a lot of things that are toxic or dangerous and involve pain as well. And so these are the kind of things that we get, blood pressure uh, in the usual terms, but very accurate, the central aortic systolic pressure. We have all the uh, other things wrong in the microscopic are reflected here as well, so that we have one that verifies what the other's up to. And they are different disorders when you have these things. And then I mentioned about the CASP, and that's the central aortic systolic pressure. First time it was ever measured. This is how we decide whether or not you have anything really serious, and particularly in hypertension. You know, we've had you know, thousands of years of known hypertension in all sorts of cult uh, cultures, but we're in a situation where we still don't know what causes high blood pressure. They've identified an enzyme in the arterial walls, and maybe that's the old answer, maybe not. Uh, but it's something else. Now we can see how well everybody responds to the treatment, and it isn't always new things because what's happening on a pharmaceutical basis, the blood pressure medications are actually able to be old ones that are understood differently. And therefore, when we understand it better, we can use it better so that the hypertension problems of old have just about disappeared. Well, they've not completely disappeared. So uh, next time I will talk a little bit more about what we have to do with finding out other things that have a secondary effect on the blood pressure.